Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Jonesy's Base Cat. I am Jonesy. Today, something a little bit different. Uh, it's the video that I had always planned on doing, but not doing this early, which is yay, but also sucks. Um, as you would have seen on my YouTube community page, I am no longer able to play uh, God of War 2 just because PS Now is just so inconsistent and is just so choppy that it's just almost impossible for me to edit. Um, and it was getting to the point where it was actually quite stressful. And I didn't want that for the playthrough because I was having so much fun. So, so much fun. Um, I just also want to thank everybody that reached out and said that it was absolutely okay, understandable, not my fault. Um, I still feel very responsible and uh, a bit shitty about it because, yeah, I wanted to do this road to Ragnarok. I wanted to all the playthrough, but alas, it is not to be. Um, if I find another way to play God of War 2 and to finish it off, then I will 100% do that. Um, if it means trying to find a PlayStation 2 and trying to work around it that way, or waiting until PlayStation sort out their new PlayStation Plus, whatever they are sorting out at the time. Um, I have watched all of the cutscenes of God of War 2, so I have kind of seen what happens. I've made some notes and we're going to go through those in a second. Um, don't worry, it's not like an essay. It will be really quick because I am not that skillful at um, writing essays and analysing them and bringing them out. It will just be my quick opinions as to what happened. Um, I will be watching a playthrough so I can see like exactly what happens in between those cutscenes, but I just wanted to get this bit done so I could do the trailer review of God of War 3 for you before we play the actual game, which will 100% happen because I have the disc. I am so excited. No more streaming. I am counts, counts, cancelling if i can speak i am cancelling that subscription because as far as i'm concerned it's not worth the money it's and i just can't use it so sorry okay so my notes consist of i've done it in kind of like bullet points um there were new weapons oh my god there were loads of new weapons there was wings kratos got wings from icarus um icarus seemed to be quite a a crazy old uh man i think from when I remember way, way back when, when I was at school, Icarus was quite a young person. So I was quite surprised to see him as like a, a bit of a Fruit Loop. Um, but yeah, very funny. A big lava bird was there, which I'm assuming is some kind of phoenix that rised from the ground. Um, Kratos killed one of his last soldiers of Sparta, thus making him the last Spartan, which was um, a bit of a, a mind uh, I missed the Kraken fight, a big old Kraken with big wobbly arms. That looked insane. It looked hard, like really, really hard, but I just loves it. I almost like flew off my chair when I saw that. I was just like, can't believe I'm missing it. And oh, I have to say, watching all of the cutscenes really hurt because I was just like, I want to play. I want to play so bad. Um, there was a one big reoccurring theme throughout all of these cutscenes and that was big old titties. Um, yeah, this game loves a boob. <laughs> there was lots of those. Uh, then we were introduced to the Sisters of Fate. Again, that fight looked epic AF. Um, they really reminded me of the Valkyrie in God of War 4, which you all know that I absolutely loved fighting because they were just so badass. So badass. Uh, and again, that fight looked really, really hard. But yeah, just fighting on the big sword. Um, and then in the room with the kind of glass doors that you had to break. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, stunning. Mwah, beautiful design. Considering it's such an old game. So good, so good. Um, then what happened? Yep, then there was a loom chamber with this big monster thing with, again, big old titties. Um, and you were fighting him. And again, that battle didn't look as epic, I must admit, as the others. But again, that's something that I may have missed because I didn't play it myself. And they only showed kind of the cutscenes and a little bit of the fighting. Um, but from what I could see, it didn't look as epic. I'm not saying it wasn't epic. I'm just saying it didn't look as epic. Um, then what have we got? Kratos goes back back in time to save himself from Zeus and Zeus is all like oh I underestimated you and, and was a bit 
a bit of a plank like he normally is. Then we see this epic, epic battle between Zeus and Kratos. We get big Zeus with some lightning. But obviously, we kick his little hiney back into, like, little Zeus. And I'm getting so excited that I'm spitting. I'm really sorry if you can see that. <laughs> I'm just so, so excited. And then Athena, she runs in and she's like, you have to stop. We can't do this anymore. And he's like, I'm just here for Zeus. And she's like, but Zeus is Olympus and we need Olympus to survive. And he's like, I don't care. Zeus has wronged me. I'm going to kill him. And just as he goes to throw the blade, blade of Olympus, a blade, the big sword um, into uh, Zeus, Athena jumps in the way. She sacrifices herself, and while she is dying, she lays the D-bomb. Zeus is your daddy. Um, I can't remember if I knew that from God of War 4. If I did, I had 100% forgotten because, again, I was aghast. I, I didn't know, yeah, I didn't remember that at all. And again, that lays another layer of, like, son killing father because obviously um zeus didn't want the titans to live because he was meant to be eaten by one. Oh my god it's crazy 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 anyway turn my page yep uh oh yes and then then uh we go back in time again and we get gaia and all her bad boys uh and we're on our climb to get zeus and then then it ends then it ends i mean I think I got about halfway through the game, but never did I imagine that I would miss all of that. There is so much, so, so, so much. But um, yes, so, as I said, I will go back and watch the playthroughs just so I can see the proper fighting bits in between and not really miss out on anything, even though I miss out on the game, I'm playing it myself. Um, but yes, this is why you're here. Uh, I'm gonna do a blind reaction to God of War 3. Alrighty, here we go, guys. Is that Poseidon? Oh my god, oh my god, I've got chills. I've got actual chills. Yes to the artwork in the cutscenes, if that's what it is. Your son has returned. Hi daddy! Oh my god, yes, this is where we left off. The gates of Hades have never held me! <gasps> We're going back to Hades? Does that look like Gaia? Is that the gameplay? That looks so smooth. Hades. Oh my God, those, look at those titans. If this is all gameplay, I'm gonna be so happy. Yeah, we will. He is an icon and a legend. Oh god. oh god! Yes, Kratos. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, guys! To say that I'm excited <laughs> might be underestimating how I feel right now. Oh my god! I can't even speak. Um, that trailer, that was the uh, launch trailer for God of War 3. Um, oh my god. I just... The gameplay in it looked so smooth. I was a little bit unsure whether that was cutscene or or actual gameplay. But then I, I saw some of the little bits that come up, you know, so how many hits and stuff like that. It has to be gameplay. Um, it just looks epic. Like, it looks like we're gonna f maybe fight all of the different gods. Um, that would be my assumption. I definitely saw us fighting Hades. Oh my God, uh, that looks so cool. Um, so did you see like how amazing the Titans looked and we're swinging amongst them and uh, a little bit worried for mini games. You know, I'm always worried about mini games, but I don't care. I'm just so excited. The whole thing just looks insane um like you guys have told me that it's more brutal and more violent obviously we didn't see that in the trailer because that's a launch trailer um, i don't think they'll show anything like that but i'm here for it i am 
so here for it and so steaming to play it. I just, yeah, there's just, there's, there's just no words, no words. And I cannot wait to see how the story progresses and how then it will then tie in to number four, because obviously I've played four, so I know how that starts. But I don't understand. Oh, I think I might have just put a link together of something in four, but I'm not going to go there because that it that is for another video. That's for Ragnarok when we get there. And to tell you I'm excited for Ragnarok again is just something else. So I'm so happy that I've got to play through these games and experience them for the first time with you guys as well. It's been awesome sharing these uh, little episodes with you because you've been so helpful and sharing hints and tips and we get to talk about it and I just I just love it it's so good Kratos has brought us all together he may be an angry little man but <laughs> I love him I think he's amazing guys if you enjoyed this little reaction video please feel free to give it a like say hi in the comments or you could even subscribe because that really does help out my channel I will be playing God of War really soon and I hope to see you there